archive was much more non-linear. They jump back and forth in time a lot more. Uh, here, I mean, actually, the footage is jumping back and forth, but we don't reveal that there's a there even in terms of uh, the storytelling. We were jumping back and forth in time a lot more. Yes, of course, please. Uh, firstly, congratulations. That was great. I wanted to say uh, something. Uh, about how there are different sources of uh, contempt, I think, particularly for the urban poor, uh, including uh, those street vendors. I mean, uh, maybe a decade ago or more, a decade ago, the CPM in Calcutta uh, had a drive to remove all street vendors. What I mean is that, on the one hand, I think what you all are saying about the neoliberal state and all is fair enough. Uh, because they were considered, shall we say, part of the lumpen proletariat or something and not part of the Marxist grand design. Uh, NTR, because uh, when he was CM, he, he wanted to reach that secretariat gate by some route along which there were a lot of slum dwellers. And they were demolished without any, uh, you know, uh, without any thought, without any resettlement. If you look at, say, pavement dwellers in a city like Mumbai, there is a lot of animosity towards them on the part of lower middle class people who may be living in chores and small flats, you know, because they are a class below. So, I think. What I'm only trying to say is that there are other places, there are, there are different sources for which this kind of violence towards the poor, uh, you know, that are identifiable apart from whatever you have clearly uh, delineated in the film. Yeah, and you know, even in our film, when we were filming on Avenue Road, for instance, uh, there are a lot of... Uh, people who went on the street of Avenue Road and these traders were dead against them. They said, these rascals, they come here and they sell and the poor, even the police uh, is not able to remove them. So, of course, that attitude is there. Um, but, you know, we have a certain focus and um, so... And the thing is, uh, uh, whatever the... Sure, there are, for instance, there are RWAs who are against um, uh, slum dwellers in the neighborhood. But I guess what we are also trying to say is that um, that there is a certain law. For instance, the vendors are not supposed to Supreme Court directive not to clear off the pavement and people still were clear. And that police said, you are educated and you are telling me about the law about pavements. When he's the one who didn't know. So, yeah, he said the, 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 what law on the pavement? There yeah, is no law for the street. And he says you are educated. Anyway, so yeah, I guess part of Sure, there is all these machinations that go on. Are there any other films in other cities like this one? Have you heard? Have you seen? No, about this kind of, about, uh, um, oh, against this kind of change, there must be many films. I know that there's one in Delhi. Maybe not filmed over such a long period of time, maybe not done in this way, but, uh, but expressing the same sort of political uh, opinion, I'm sure there must be. Uh, of the same political persuasion, there must be many films. There is one called Mumbai Disconnected, which is made by a Danish filmmaker, which is looking at, uh, it's, a, it's a very funny, very interesting film. Actually, it's also looking at the stopping of the, uh, the people who are trying to stop the Pedder Road flyover. And it's looking at various, uh, I mean, different protagonists, you know, from different classes in the city. It's also very interesting. And it's looking at the MMRDA uh, director, you know, trying to do things in the city and so closely looking at his work, it's also very hilarious. Just like following <laughs> the, I like the music when you, you use. It's lovely, we love it, thanks. Thank you, so much. Yeah.